Order filled. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, October 28th, 2024, and we're going up with QQQ. H pattern, moving average bounce, H pattern. H pattern, moving average bounce, slingshot. Moving average bounce, Fibonacci, lightning to the upside. Horizontal line triggered on symbol QQQ. And there's a $1 move, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do is we're going to go to a break-even trade. So basically, we're not going to uh, make money if it comes all the way down to where we started, but we're not going to lose any money. I want to move my stop after we can confirm the retrace on this run. So technically, we're still in an impulse. So we have uh, prices going up, and you can see right now we're dropping. I want to see where this price settles and how deep the retracement is going to become. All right, so we impulsed up. Let's turn down the transparency. Let's copy it. If this price holds around the 21, the 496.75 area, that's where our projected target would naturally be at this point. Again, we're gonna just uh, set this up ahead of time. Uh, this price might um, flow around there and you know, if we're lucky, we'll get all the way up to the $2 marker right there. Um, but again, we still have to fight through the 497.50, 497.75 area. So um, as always, we're going to play this bar by bar. But over time, if this price holds, again, around the 496.75, roughly around that 21 moving average on both our one minute and our two minute, uh, then we'll start locking in some more uh, profits as we go. As you can see, the price reacted off of the 497.75-ish area and around the 200 moving average on our two-minute chart. So let's go over what happened up into this point. So we ran up. Let me adjust this. So we ran up and we took a pause. And we ran up and we're coming down and taking another pause. And I'm expecting another run up. So let's turn down the transparency. So what I expect to see is the price here soon to keep rising and I would like to see it jump above the 200 moving average on our two minute chart and see how it reacts roughly around the 497.75 ish area again and see if it gets up to the 498 area. As you can see, that price is holding strong on that 21 moving average, although it's like sluggish. So if we factor in space in time, where we're at right now, actually move that. All right, so let's move that there. Adjust this. Let's change this color to, let me see here, magenta. Magenta. So there's time and space. Right now it's balanced. So let's just put this little tool up here. And what we're gonna use is this guide, this one uh, times two level. As long as it stays around there, it might chop up and down, up and down, up and down. But as long as it respects the 21 moving average on our one minute chart, and it respects the one times two. When it starts failing around the one times two, uh, we'll point out a, a detail of where it might have a failure rate. So what we wanna see is continued and uh, uh, consistent uh, increasing in the price and I'd like to see it get uh, up to the one times three on this tool uh, but if it starts to fail it's gonna start failing roughly around the one times two so as long as the price stays above the one times two it might come down it might close a little bit below it but as long as it keeps making effort to continue to go up 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 uh, we will stick with it
All right, ladies and gentlemen, right there is the break in the levy. As you can see, the price can push up higher. It dropped below not only the 200, but it also dropped a good amount uh, below the one times two. So what we're gonna do is if this price jumps the 200 again um, and starts to push up, we'll probably close out roughly around the 497.75, 498-ish area if it gets back up to there. So um, on the two minute chart, we still have about a minute. So we wanna see where this closes and then that's starts the clock all right so if we close below the 200 and we open on the next two minute bar and we push above it that's where we're going to start to look to um, get out of this trade at this point also we're going to lock in 75 cents guaranteed just in case this drops hard um, but that's the break in the levy that we were uh, looking for not saying that we wanted it to happen but that's the clear-cut sign that says hey we're starting to get weak in this move um, we'll probably run up once more and then we'll uh, retrace deeper so we don't want to stick around for that retracing deeper part. All right, now that we're above the 200 and we're starting to get above the one times two, based on this next one minute bar, if it can't push past roughly around 498-ish, as you can see, it's already up there. I wanna see if it'll continue, maybe get up to our two, uh, $2 marker, but if not, and we can't push up to the 480, or excuse me, the 498.25 area, on the close, the very next bar, we're only gonna stick around for a very short period of time. If we don't see a duck tail and run up, we're just gonna punch out. Order filled. And there's a dollar seventy today on this trade, ladies and gentlemen. As always, never forget, be a pro.